Wang Guan Baby Loves and welcome to my channel Tiffany Sexy Fit. Oh my god, I haven't done one of these in time. So I'm gonna be doing Tiff's top tips in 10. So first top tip we have got shaving. Now apparently some of you guys are shaving before you put tan on. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Leave it because then it really ingrains. Shave afterwards and you won't have those spots either. Um, I'm going to go on a little bit more onto the tanning. I'm going to actually do a video, bring a video to you guys on how to tan. Um, the luxuries of being a stripper, there's not, not nothing I don't know about tanning and making sure it looks even. The best one, the best smelling one um, and obviously good value for money. So watch out for that video coming soon. Next top tip, how to keep grey hairs at bay. I'm 37 and not to my knowledge at the moment I haven't had one grey hair. Is to eat nuts. Now obviously some of you may have nut allergy out there, nothing I can do about that but if you haven't, knock your scent out because the copper inside nuts is what keeps the grey hairs at bay and I've lived and breathed on nuts for years, they're like my, my I can't live without them but I am a type O, Reese's negative blood type, again something that I will elaborate on in the future and do another video about blood types and how they can benefit you and your nutrition value. Next one, how to keep the skin nice, um, you know, nice, soft, um, even and have a really good complexion. I've just found some of the most amazing oil. I don't know if you know a company called Revolution Pro. Yeah, don't scream at me, I know you know. <laughs> it's a new one that's come out. So this one I'm using the Prime Oils, if you can see that. So yeah, and this has got some brilliant ingredients in it. So it's got plant, all the things that your skin needs. So I put this on morning and night before my makeup, obviously. Again, another video that I'm going to bring to you. Being in the fitness game, you can't be covering your face in makeup. You just need it to obviously enhance the features that you have. Because unfortunately, being in England, although this summer has been amazing, we don't get enough vitamin D. So we can look a little bit zombie. Fine. <laughs> Don't mind me saying. So, tip number four. Nails. How do you get strong, good nails? Obviously, all of us end up with acrylics on, but still, having them on again and again and again, you need to have a good nail base to start with to be able to take that kind of extremity all the time. And I've been wearing false nails again. I was a stripper so years. And I started shipping on 19 and I'm 37 now. So a long time that my nails have had to take acrylics on them. And they're still in pretty good nick to be fair. And that is power of the P. Protein. Not only is protein for your muscles, it's for your skin cells. It's also for your eyes, for your hair and your nails. So yeah, start eating some more protein. Another video I will come on to to give you the information of what exactly protein sources are good out there and the best for you. So watch out for that one. Tip number five. How do I keep my lips alive? <laughs> Working out a lot. Obviously, you know, the environment, not great for your lips. And mine are big and they are natural. Have I been big all my life? I used to get called Mick Jagger at school, so I should know, right? I got bullied enough for it. And now look at you all. <laughs> but anyway, I use some of the best glasses in the house. I think this is amazing, this stuff. And this is by uh, Rimmel. And it's called Oh My Gloss. Yeah, I've got every colour, <laughs> just in case. So, this is, it doesn't, when you obviously your hair is getting about, it doesn't actually stick your hair. It's a nice consistency and it keeps a lovely gloss sort of on your lips and it keeps them really hydrated. So my lips have never been dry since I've been using these. Um, and you can obviously get them wherever you can, wherever the supply uh, rim on. So yes, yeah, so this is how we keep his lips nice and alive. Tip number six, everybody goes on about my teeth, I was definitely blessed with these teeth, thanks mate, um, my parents, my dad, the only thing my dad gave me, it's a good set of teeth, no but basically with teeth, 
Um, unfortunately, I knocked mine out apparently when I was two, uh, walking with my hands in my pocket. So I spent four years of being called toothless by my dad and by anyone else that could join in. So I was a bit like conscious, but obviously when they grew then, I'm not being funny. That's karma for you, isn't it? <laughs> but I brush them. In my day in school, we actually used to have nurses come round and they used to do like a dental education thing and they used to teach you about what had the most sugars in. Which, can I just tell your parents, it's Heinz tomato sauce. So you think that the sweets are doing your kids bad, it's actually the tomato sauce that's just as bad as the sweets. Three quarters of that bottle consists of sugar. So yeah, stop the tomato sauce right now. Because that, like I said, it, it keeps on and obviously it starts with the decaying and etc. So brushing them is really important. I've found different times that I work for me to brush them works better. Um, definitely on a morning, but I eat first. There's no point brushing your teeth and then eating afterwards. That don't make sense. And if any of you guys are a sexy fit machine, then you know you have to have pre-breakfast, which means you eat straight away as soon as you get up. Just like fueling your engine. So, you know, then brush your teeth. There's no point brushing them beforehand. That don't make sense. And then I brush them as well after about, about when I come back to work, about four o'clock. So you've gone all day without brushing your teeth. Makes sense, right? And then obviously, again, try not to do it too early before bed, but more after your tea. Think about it, you're going to bed on them, and this is when obviously the body starts working and doing what it needs to do for what you've done throughout that day, which is to repair and do whatever it does. So yeah, that's my top tip on having better, healthier teeth. Um, tip, tip, top tip number seven, how to motivate yourself on a morning. Well, oh, for me, that's simple. One of my most favourite things that I could not live without is music. Music is everything to me. So before you have any thought process, wham some music on your favourite music. I'm not telling you what type. Do what does for you that makes you happy, makes you think, today is going to be a beautiful day, damn right. And that's what you need to do. Get that music on. Don't let any thought process go in. Let it all be positive. Because remember, thoughts become things. So let's start thinking. Life is beautiful. And then it will be. Tip up tip number eight. Protein bars. So many out there. So many to choose from. Which is right. Which is wrong. Again, if you're a part of my sexy fit team, you will know what's right and wrong because I will have educated you on that. A uh, few guys at home. There's loads of different ones, but I actually eat the PH, PhD Smart one. I love PhD as a brand. Um, I've always been really sort of uh, a high fan of them. I love the taste, the simple, and they keep it as basic as they can in terms of the ingredients, which is what's important. I would recommend that people eat proper food as opposed to this, but obviously time is of the essence. Everybody's got bills to pay, you've got work to do, you've got kids, etc. So these are ideal. Plus, it stops that chocolate fix too. You know, you can't have your cake and eat it and people need to start realising that. So again, these are amazing brand, an amazing snack that you can have to sort of help you making sure you're getting some food in. Tip number nine. So tip number nine is about sleep. Um, a lot of people can't sleep on a night and I can't even imagine it. For me, I work out too much so once my eyes are shut, boom, I'm in deep sleep. But plus, obviously, I'm on my diet so I know what to eat and what not to eat before you go to bed. Um, you have to remember why we eat certain things and what the for. So carbohydrates are for energy. That's why you eat them to give you energy, to give the body energy. And a lot of people are having these before they go to bed. And it could be fruit. Yes, fruit is a carb. It gives you sugar. So therefore, <laughs> you're gonna be needing to burn that off. Obviously you've got cereal. Common thing to have is cereal, why? Because it's easy, it's quick. Easy, quick, you're having something to eat. But it's to burn energy off. And that's why you have that in the morning. So a little bit of common sense when you're sleeping. Um, I recommend, you know, a bit of milk like you used to do back in the day, something like that, something that's more calming as opposed to reaching, all right? And then tip number 10, how do you feel happy about your sen? Well, that one's very, very easy. Do your body proud, start working out. 
seriously i can't promote working out more than enough i've no idea how we've got into this way of thinking of not having to work out not having to work out your body it's a living breathing human mechanism and or organism whatever it's something that we need to cherish and take care of and it needs stimulating it needs pushing it needs exercising it needs working out and then everything else can become balanced so Hopefully you enjoyed tips top tips. Hopefully you're going to use some of these tips so that you too, at home, wherever, can become the ultimate sexy fit machine. Who are you?